Hello everybody. A gentleman on social media tweeted out, why don't you guys just make a traditional stable coin? And the reason Centric doesn't want to do that is because we want to do something different. And if you look at Centric.com slash basics and kind of go through it a little bit, you understand that Centric wants to be untethered from existing assets. Remember, stable coins are backed by dollars or other currencies or other cryptocurrencies. And Centric wants to be capitalized by itself. The network will be capitalized by itself. And if we read just a little bit from Centric.com slash basics, where it starts uh, how we are creating a synthetic stable currency, not a traditional stable coin, with Centric, we have created the conditions for a purely synthetic stable currency. That is a currency untethered from all forms of existing assets and capitalized by itself. To achieve this, over time, the Centric protocol works to manage the supply of Centric Rise until its market capitalization is equal to the market capitalization of Centric Swap. I'm going to continue. Network consensus. A synthetic stable currency is formed when the market capitalization of our two tokens is equal. At this point, we will have achieved what we call network consensus, and that's the value of the market cap of Centric Rise and the value of the market cap of Centric Swap. For network uh, for network consensus to occur, Centric Swap must be trading on the open market for $1 USD. At $1 USD, the market capitalization of Centric Swap is equal to the implied market capitalization of Centric Rise. And how do we achieve network consensus? Excellent question. It's all right here in the basics page. Again, centric.com slash, uh, slash basics. If the price of Centric Swap is below $1 USD, the implied market capitalization of Centric Rise is too high. In this scenario, the supply of Centric Rise is burnt, constraining growth of the network until consensus returns. It's self-regulating again every single hour. It's balancing itself. The further the deviation from $1 USD, the faster supply of Centric Rise burns. If the price of Centric Swap is above $1 USD, the implied market capitalization of Centric Rise is too low. And in this scenario, the size of the network inflates unchecked until it becomes overvalued again. Again, the network just continues to balance itself out. Nobody is depositing dollars into an account and saying these Centric Swap tokens are worth a dollar because there's dollars in this bank. Or we've got XYZ coins and tokens backing the network. The network is valued by the users. And as users understand the power of Centric to be fully independent and fully autonomous, fully decentralized, more and more people are going to come into the network. And understand that Centric Swap is bringing in the liquidity. And when all of these conditions meet up, that's when we're going to be reaching network consensus. The next section is learn the centric protocol. And uh, I'm not going to get into this today, but I, I just I thought this was kind of interesting because gentlemen on Twitter brought it up. Why don't you guys just develop a traditional stable coin? We don't want to do that. In a lot of ways, traditional stable coins are centralized, very centralized because they're backed by fiat. They're backed by other cryptocurrencies. They're backed by centralized exchanges. And to be fully decentralized, autonomous, free for the users, no lockups, Centric has been developed to regulate itself and to be fully capitalized by itself. But I hope this makes some sense. I highly recommend visiting centric.com and learning more about our dual token cryptocurrency uh, system and that we are constantly burning every hour until Centric Swap reaches a dollar. Take care, everybody. All the best.